Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hello, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and we're going to dive into how do I get started. That was one of the questions I got yesterday with Stephanie. If I wanted to get healthier, if I actually wanted to take this next year and take control of my health, lose the weight, feel better, what does that look like and how do I get started? So I want to dive into just giving you some basic tips, some habits, some things to think about, some things to prepare for. As we are ending this year and diving into a new year, like what can you do to go, all right, I'm going to plan to have an incredible 2024, and here's what I need to do. So if I was you, I would grab a notebook, take some notes, grab a post-it note, grab a journal. Uh, If you wanna take your health seriously, and let's dive into some simple things that you can do consistently over time, but you need to go, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I need to get prepared. Here's what I need in order to have success in 2024. So as we dive in, tell me where you're tuning in from. And I'm tuning in from Florida. Currently, I'm looking outside. It's supposed to be a crazy, what did they say? Um, Oh, they used a funny term. Not a hurricane, not a storm, but like a, they didn't say typhoon. A funny word. It's not storming. (laughs) We're in Southern Florida and uh, the wind is blowing, but it's not even raining. But the news made it seem like it was going to be crazy. (laughs) We're fine. So um, tell me where you're tuning in from and do you have your holiday shopping, Christmas shopping? Do you have your Christmas shopping done? Are you doing anything fun? We actually are traveling. We're leaving on New Year's, I'm sorry, New Year's Christmas Eve to go back to Minnesota and we'll stay there till the new year. So we are going back to be a family. Uh, We're super excited and it's going to be a really fun next couple weeks. (gasps) And my brother comes tomorrow. So as long as the, as long as I don't like to, Pray into the Lord that the weather stays great and my brother's flight stays. My brother, my sister-in-law, and their new baby are coming to visit tomorrow. So you'll have to watch my stories for the new new baby. Super excited. All right, we're going to dive into if I want to get healthy, if I want to take my health seriously, what do I have to do? So number one, I'm going to say, and please ignore my nails. I picked half of them off. I mean, mom life, right? Ah. Uh, I say mom life because I feel like I'm scraping like things off of like opening up containers and I was like, man, I've got to redo my nails. So, all right, side note, squirrel. Okay, we're diving in. If I want to get healthy, how do I get started? What do I have to do? How many of you actually have a goal for 2024 in your health, like around your health, right? Like I'm not talking about finances. I'm not talking about relationships. I'm not talking about anything else, although I think those are important But hey, Steph, here's what I'm going to do in 2024. So I want you to first get out a journal, a notebook, something that you can write down. Here's what I'm committing myself to do. And I need you to know, like, I need you to physically write it down, not keep it up here. Because if you keep it up here, it's easy to forget, to let yourself off the hook, to talk yourself out of it. There's something so powerful about writing it down. So, and get specific. I want to lose 50 pounds by December 1st, 2024, I want, and I'm going to commit to going to the gym three to four days a week. Like I want you to write it down. What does that look like? I'm going to prep my meals on Sunday. Hey, I, here's my big goal. I want to lose 40 pounds. I want to lose 50 pounds. I want to lose 75 pounds. I want to lose 10 pounds or whatever it is, write it down. And then I need you to go, what is it going to look like for me to do that? What does that look like? Does it look like I'm going to go to the gym and commit to a couple days a week? I'm going to meal prep and pick what day works for you. Hey, I'm going to, what is it? 
cut. I'm, I'm done drinking diet soda. I'm committing to water. I'm done eating this. I'm going to switch to this. You need to get specific. I need you to write it down for you. And so you have a visual of it. And then I'm going to give you some suggestions. So the first suggestion is I would, I would highly encourage you to pick a book, something that's not fictional, something or a podcast or listening to a book. I don't care if you listen or read, but my encouragement to you is when you get up in the morning, how do you set your day? I promise you I'm going to get you into some tactical like, here's how we're going to lose weight. Here's how we're going to get stronger or feel better. But the first thing I 100% agree, 100% believe is your mindset is so important. So pick a book, pick a podcast, pick something you're going to listen to in the morning. I would encourage you to get up in the morning, have your journal, review your goals, right? And your health. I would say journal three things you're thankful for because a grateful heart can't be negative or crabby that morning. Uh, Because if you get up in the morning and if you don't own your morning, I believe if you own your morning, you're going to own your day. If you get up and you start off with a, I have to, uh, a negative, like, I don't want to go to work, kids are screaming, woe is me, and you haven't started your day off with gratitude, and you go down this spiral route of, like, your morning didn't go the way that you go, or you wanted it to go, it's easy to go through the drive through it's easy to grab the donut, it's easy to skip the gym, it's easy to, to yell at your kids, because... It's the way that your day is going and it started your day off and you have decided like it's, it is what it is. I'll start tomorrow. If you can get up and give yourself five minutes, put your journal on your sink. Like if you're one of those people that keeps saying, well, I don't have time. I don't have time. I heard somebody say it today. Well, I don't have time to read. And I said, you have time for what you make time for. So if you want to be, you know, as effective as possible, Keep your journal or a post-it note, write out your goals, put them on your mirror because I hope you all brush your teeth and you get ready in the morning and you wash your face and like whether you shower or get ready, like listen ladies, you spend a lot of time in front of the mirror. Put your put your focus and put your goals on a post-it note and stick it to your mirror. And you're gonna it's going to it's gonna be in your visual site. It's going to remind you. Put your um, journal um, or a notebook by your sink. And journal three things you're thankful for. And then listen to something as you're getting ready. All of you either A, make coffee or drink ketones. You grab, you go to the refrigerator at some point in your morning. You're brushing your teeth. You're showering. You're putting on your makeup. So if you don't physically want to sit down and read a book, then listen to a podcast. Listen to something that's going to start your day off. I'm not, do not check the news and do not check your social media feed. And how is this going to help you lose weight? It's 100% going to set the tone of your day. If you don't set the tone of your day, it will set it for you. And it's going to be the typhoon that's coming to Florida that's, that's wrecking the weekend. I'm like, where is this typhoon? And where is this crazy weather? Like, if I had my sights set on like, oh, it's going to be a terrible weekend. Oh, my goodness. And I let fear set in. Do you think it's going to affect the way that I talk to people and how I think of my weekend, 100%, you shut off the news. If it's really important, somebody will tell you. Or give yourself like a five-minute window, like what's going on in the world? Awesome, shut it off. Don't live there. It's never great anyways. Um, And don't just start swiping because when we start swiping, what happens? If we're not intentional with what we're watching and learning, you're going to start falling into the trap of, they went on vacation and I didn't get to go. Oh man, I wish I had their job or their family or their life or I don't look like that. What happens? It spirals you out of control. What you watch and listen to will will direct the rest of your day. It's so, so, so important to be intentional. So, all right, out of the way. I think that journaling, gratitude, and how you set your day and who you're listening to are most important to help you with your fat loss. Now I'm going to say this. Start your morning off with a great breakfast. So if you're gonna write out your goals, Tell yourself, here's what I'm going to do in the morning. Am I going to eat eggs and sausage or am I going to intermittent fast? You need to have an idea of what this is going to look like. You need to plan like, okay, I'm going to eat breakfast because I'm not ready to fast. That's okay. Protein. Prioritize protein. You're not going to overdo it. So protein shake. Uh, uh, eggs and sausage, an omelet. Like, what does your day look like? Are you in a hurry? I would say if you haven't 
bought yourself a gift yet, buy yourself a couple things. I'm going to talk about ketones because this is what I shake up in the morning. This is the best place to start with my fuel. Some of you grab your coffee, you grab eggs, you intermittent fast, doesn't matter. Grab yourself an air fryer. If you're like, Stephanie, I don't have time. You have to figure out how to make yourself have time. An air fryer is easy. It can cook eggs and sausage. You pop them in the air fryer. You go do your makeup, you come back and it's done. Like I throw a sausage in the air fryer every morning for my girls. I don't have to think about it. Take it out of the freezer, throw it in the air fryer, set the timer for 14 minutes and it's done. They take it out of the air fryer. They make themselves some scrambled eggs. It's just as easy as grabbing a donut. It might take a couple extra minutes and you will feel better, right? What does your morning look like? You have to decide. Intermittent fasting or eating. If you intermittent fast, that's great. You can drink your coffee. And all that means is, is you're pushing your next, your first meal a couple hours. Some people do like fasting 16 hours, eating within an eight hour window. I don't, some people don't like the word fast. Think about intermittent fasting as you're basically skipping breakfast and you're giving yourself a window of food, of eating time. And why? Why do people do that? Because most people eat from the time they wake up till the time they go to bed and they're over consuming so much food. We just are simply eating too much. So if you're like, all right, one of my goals is I'm just going to narrow the window. I'm not going to eat right away in the morning. I don't need the donut or the piece of chocolate or the bowl of cereal. I'm going to be intentional with my breakfast, maybe eat a little bit later. And I'm not going to eat after dinner time. So if that's how you're getting started, you're going to narrow your window. That's the first thing you can do as you're diving into your health. Secondly, what's in your shaker bottle? What are you drinking? Water, soda, how much sugar are you drinking? Just give yourself an awareness of what you're drinking. So if our goal is like, I want to actually get healthier, I need to, I need to figure out like what's in my shaker bottle. I drink ketones every single day. I have for eight years. If you need something to help you feel better, this is the best, best place on, in my, my opinion, to get started. It's a variety box. Look at you open it up. You've got 10 different flavors, 10 caffeine, 10 caffeine free. I've been drinking ketones for eight years. Here's what I will tell you. It's going to turn on your brain. Ketones help you with your appetite. So we've got that narrowed window of eating so you don't have to eat all day. It's going to help you control that. It's going to help control your cravings. It's going to give you incredible energy. So I joke with people and say, I used to be a nap taker, like a napper way before I had ketones. I have four girls and I just needed a nap every single day. Since ketones, I do not. So the energy, focus, fat loss, better mood, they turn on your brain. If you've never tried them, I have an incredible discount. I've got a great coupon to help you try them. Uh, so just post uh, ketones in the comments and we'll chat. If you need a tool, listen, not a magic pill. And I say some supplements are great, but the supplement isn't going to do it by itself. It doesn't matter what you take. You have to do the work. And the work is simply choosing better foods, right? What's for breakfast? This will not break your fast. So you can actually drink ketones during that intermittent fasting time and it won't break it. It actually will help prolong it and help you get to that point where you're like, I feel great. I'm going to eat lunch. So if you've never tried ketones, post ketones below. We're going to chat. So we've got breakfast or intermittent fasting. I'm going to say, what are you drinking? Half your body weight in ounces of water. It's a super simple, like, oh, I can, I can drink water, but you need to make sure you're sticking with it and you're tracking it, right? Uh, number three, I just say, I want all I want you to do is you go throughout your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Prioritize protein, eat when you're hungry, not when you're bored. So if you're gonna like map out your meals, I actually have a super fa super basic foods list. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Here's some snack options. Here's some great things to like put it on your refrigerator to help you be, until you naturally fall into like, here's what I should eat. Here's a better option for me. If you've never received that foods list, post food below and I'll give it to you. So post food in the comments. It's super simple. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Here's some ideas. Um, and I'd love to hand that to you. So we're going to start with mindset. We're going to be intentional with our meals. We're going to drink more water and less pop. If you need a tool, you're going to drink ketones because they're incredible. And then I'm going to just say, what are you doing to move your body? So do you go for walks? Do you have a gym membership? Are you using it? Like you need, that's the importance of this journal. Write it down. What does that look like? And being intentional and in prioritizing your health. So are you going to go to the gym three days a week? What days are you going to go? What times are you going? Right? 
So if we're working on our mindset, we're being intentional with our food, we are drinking ketones. I'm going to say you all should drink ketones because they're amazing. Um, are, and what does your movements look like? And then the last couple of things I'm going to say, as you're really specifically mapping these out, because consistent action over time, remember, when you decide to start, some of you are going to wait till after Christmas. Some of you are like, okay, I'm going to get this all planned out. I'm going to start January 1st, which just so happens to be a Monday. I think that's super fun. My daughter said, ah, January 1st is a Monday. It's when people wait to start. The first, it's a Monday, it's a new week, it's going to be amazing. So you're setting yourself up for success. If you, so if you take these next couple of weeks and plan, you can dive into the new year with a plan and knowing that, listen, you're not gonna see the results in two weeks. So if I was you, right? It is so satisfying, Ashley, isn't it? So satisfying. I would say, I need you to get your mindset into the space of, okay, if I really have a lot of weight to lose, or if I really want to be the healthier version of me, not just to go on the vacation, not just to get to the wedding, not just to get to that specific date, but the reason that most people go around the same cycle every year is their focus is, I need to fit into the dress, I need to fit into the swimsuit, I need to get to this end destination, and then when they get there, they quit. So if your goal is, I'm going to create some healthy habits, I'm going to do this for the long term and knowing that if I commit for this year and it might sound daunting, like, oh my goodness, I have a year, a year to lose the 50 pounds or a year. Like we had some friends. I remember last year she started in, it might've been 2022 to 2023 and she started her health journey in March and we got together in December and she had lost 80 pounds, but she knew she was like, this is going to be the rest of the year. So committed mindset, not two weeks, not two months, but if I commit to this year, it's going to set the rest of my life up because I'm going to create healthy habits. I'm not going to quit after I've reached that goal. I'm going to create these habits so that I sustain it. That should be the goal. I want to lose the weight. I want to create healthy habits. I want to feel amazing. And then I'm going to commit to enjoying the rest of my life at this weight or working on my health. I want to be a healthier grandma or grandpa. I want to commit to like, so I'm physically able to do some things that I can't do right now. Does this make sense? So I would encourage you. How do you get started? It starts right here. Are you committed? Do you believe that you can do it? I will help you. And then it's simply going through, I have a habit tracker. I'm assuming that if you've never seen my habit tracker, it's super simple. You can have it for free. It's a PDF of like seven habits of mindset, breakfast, your meals, intermittent fasting if you choose to, checking off the box for water intake, drinking ketones, uh, moving your body, and then celebrating every single day. Because you should be going, yes, I did today. Yes, I did this week. Oh my goodness, I need to celebrate. I've been doing this for a month, two months, three months, four months. You hit a goal, you're excited, but you keep going. Because it's not just about your health over the course of three months. It's about you being the healthiest version of you for the rest of your life so that you can be the best version of you for those people around you that you love. That's the point, right? So I would encourage you to really give yourself some thinking time, thinking space. What do you want for this year? Are you committed to getting it? And I want to help you. So if you need the habit tracker, post habit tracker below. It's free. Ashley says she's ready. I love it. If you need a food list, like a basic foods list, post food in the comments. I will give that to you. You can send me a message. You can post questions below. If you really just want to understand ketones, I'm not just going to send you a link. Like this is how I got started. I didn't start with food. All I did was drink a pack of ketones. It turned on my brain and I felt like I could learn how to eat healthy. They're incredible. Like if they didn't work, I wouldn't talk about them. So if you just want to know how they work, and I actually want to have a conversation with you about like how to get started, why I drink them, giving you the best deal possible, but just post ketones in the comments and I'm going to message you. Here's how I get started. Here's what it looks like. Here's what they are. If you want them, awesome. They're an incredible tool, right? But remember, any tool you're going to use, you have to work with it as well. And I want to help you. So you can always go to ketomomsecrets.com and click on how to get started. Click on recipes. There's so many of them. We have a book club over there that you can go through the books that I've gone through over the last three years with me. 
uh, and so much more. Ketomomsecrets.com. Otherwise, ask any questions below. I'm here to help. I hope you have a wonderful day. That's the basic overview of getting started. Don't wait until January. Let's start planning now, and then we can have a plan when all of your fun holiday things are done. So you're so welcome. I'm here to help. Reach out with questions. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.